The two main reasoning skills used in mathematics and science are inductive reasoning and deductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning is used in science. That's about finding rules. Deductive reasoning is about applying rules. And we use syllogisms when we are thinking deductively. And this little lesson is about using syllogisms and using rainbow trout to help us understand that. And in Alaska, every year salmon move up streams all over Alaska, and the rainbow trout follow them, eating their eggs. And fishermen like myself have a great time catching them. A syllogism, it can be broken up into three parts. It has a major premise, a minor premise, and a conclusion. To understand syllogisms, let's do a few examples. And let's start with a syllogism that we would consider a valid syllogism as well as a true syllogism. For example, we could have for a major premise, all rainbow trout have a pink stripe. And what the major premise does is it identifies a member or a property of the set. So a property of the set of all rainbow trout is that they have a pink stripe. As you can see on this one, there's a pink stripe along its side. A minor premise that identifies a member of the set. That trout is a rainbow trout. We could say as a minor premise, that trout is a rainbow trout. And then the conclusion would be that that trout has a pink stripe. That identifies the property with the member. That trout is the member and then the property is that it has a pink stripe. So we would consider that to be a valid argument as well as a true argument. Let me go ahead and release this fish. Ready to go. Now look at this syllogism. The major premise is all animals evolved. The minor premise, man is an animal. Conclusion, therefore man evolved. Now that would be considered a valid argument, but is it true and can science prove it? I would say no.